What's up guys, welcome to your 19th After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use a pen to create masks and also some options uh, when you're creating a mask with a pen. So go ahead and double click whatever your uh, source is uh, and your layer panel should pop up. Go ahead and expand that so you can see and now you can go ahead and grab your pen tool and the first thing we want to do is make sure this roto bezier is not checked so if it has a check on it click it and it shouldn't be checked so let's go ahead and start creating a mass by the same way we create a shape uh, remember just start clicking anytime you just click it makes a straight line anytime you click and drag it makes a curved line so just go ahead and uh, make a simple mask and go ahead and connect it and actually I want to change my background so that is how you make a simple mask and if you want to select the pen tool um, the shortcut is G or you just can click up here to select it uh, but again anytime you want to do that uh, you select G and anytime you want to temporarily um, use the selection tool all you have to do is while you have your pen tool selected go ahead and hold the control key and as you see it uh, temporarily changes to selection tool so you can edit uh, a keyframe so anytime that you're in the middle of a uh, drawing a mask instead of having to change from back to here back to here just hold control and it will uh, temporarily change but once you have your entire mask uh, created we recommend that you press V and when I said we recommend I mean I recommend um, just to permanently change to your uh, selection tool so that's uh that way you can edit it a lot easier and another cool thing that you guys will, might want to know anytime you hold control alt and click as you can see it kind of turns into a flying V just like when you're drawing shapes whenever you click this all your curved point change to straight points so that is how you can um, change a curved point to a straight point using just that little shortcut hold down control all on your keyboard and go ahead and do that now another cool thing that I want to show you guys is how to add a vertex using your pen tool now go ahead and select your pen tool or press G again and whenever you do anytime you hover over a line where there isn't a keyframe your pen changes to a little pen with a plus sign on it and this means that if you click it adds a keyframe right there so you can go ahead and edit that anytime that you hover over with your pen tool that already is an existing keyframe your pen changes to a minus and you can subtract the keyframe right there so that is how you can um, add and subtract keyframes and that's pretty much all it is to making custom masks with the pen tool so let me go ahead and delete this mask and let me show you um, what I meant when I said um, what that roto bezier is what the roto bezier is is and I don't know if I'm saying it right because I learned it from reading in a book but it pretty much is just a way to create automatic curves so go ahead and select your pen tool again and make sure that it's checked this time and not unchecked and if you go ahead and start creating um, things unlike last time where it automatically made straight lines this automatically makes curve lines and instead of uh, clicking and dragging to make curved lines whenever you click and drag it it just moves the entire keyframe so that's the difference between um, a regular pen tool and a roto bezier pen tool and as you see you can close that just like this now in um, the last tutorial I went over all these mask properties except mask path and what mask path was is just a way to animate your mask pretty much so for example go ahead and click this and our mask is kind of in the top uh, left corner right now let's go ahead and move it to five seconds and then let's go ahead and put control T and actually it's a lot easier if we do it here uh, highlight your mask put control T and in five seconds we'll go ahead and move it over here so now we can see in our mask path it's going to move from the top left to the bottom right so now if we go ahead and play that as you can see it's moving in top left to bottom right and this is just like um, position in the other one 
but mask path is pretty much the same thing as mask position or excuse me mask position except it's not on your mainframe so um, that's a real easy way to use that so again um, that's how you use the pen tool and the pen tool with the roto bezier to make custom mask paths and also what the mask path is is pretty much a way that you can animate your path it's the same thing as position but it's special for the mask so that's that for uh, my 19th tutorial um, thank you guys for watching if you have any questions just send me a message and I'll try to answer them for you so uh, again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and check out my next tutorial